Welcome back to Hey Bartender. My name is Gustavo Rojas, a personal bartender with production behind that camera, giving me a hard time, as usual. Anyway, today I'm gonna make her a cocktail. This is how ungrateful production can be, but it's okay because that's why we are here for. Today we're gonna make the pomegranate gin sour. Please stay here with me. Let me show you how to make this bad boy. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if you guys remember that a few episodes ago, uh, we make this amazing and delicious syrup. This is the rhubarb syrup. Uh, technically speaking, it's super easy. You just gotta need uh, rhubarb. Ha! But uh, if you can find them fresh, it's gonna be the best thing to do. Grab like a four or five of them, just chop them up really, really fine. Then put them with uh, your um, quarter of water, one quarter of um, uh, sugar. Let them boil. All the fibers are going to break up. Uh, you're going to have this beautiful pink reddish um, color. Strain it, let it cool. And then voila, you can use it for so many things, especially in your pancakes, right? Right. They are super delicious. So I was making some at work. And uh, one of my coworkers, he was working on a passion fruit sour. And I was like, hey, you know what? I have this little guy and I haven't made the pomegranate uh, gin. So we barely have the Rampur um, uh, uh, limes, uh, Tanqueray. And uh, it happened to my land really, really good for this kind of sour. So please hang out with me and let me show you how we're going to be making this guy. Uh, Let's go for two ounces on your gin. Let's go for one ounce of pomegranate juice. So this is the tricky part. If you happen to buy the POM, the POM, uh, it tends to be sweet. So you got to use less of your uh, rhubarb syrup. But if you buy the unsweetened pomegranate, then you're gonna go for a full ounce of this guy. So one ounce of pomegranate, in this case, I'm using the palm, the one that is already sweetened. So you're gonna need one ounce and maybe a little bit less of this guy. Uh, on lime juice, let's go for one ounce as well. Your rhubarb syrup. Let's go from one quarter to a half an ounce according with how sweet you like things. Egg white or aquafaba. Thank you so much for somebody that actually was asking me how to substitute the egg. You can do it with the aquafaba. Uh, garbanzo beans, or um, just open the can, strain it, save the water, and that's gonna be, uh, give you the viscosity that you need for your sours, okay? Let's make it a double shake. First one is gonna be dry shake. Make sure you hold in your team very well. Okay, let's add ice. And now let's give it another second shake. It looks perfect. Let's go for a double strain in order to make a really nice layer with our froth. And because we have our little friend behind that camera, and I'm not talking about production, it's production's friend. We're gonna make a little side, just for her. Just with a little leftover. Set this one on the side. Now for your garnish, you can get like a real nice twist. Uh, I always like to make a nice shape with your bitters. So just get your bitters or you can use an eyedropper and you're gonna put one, two, three drops. And you're gonna go from left, one, two, and three beautiful hearts. And there you have it, the pomegranate gin sour. Thank you so much everyone for your likes and subscribes. And please remember, don't drink and drive. See you next time.